Hi, my name is Linnea Fletcher and I run the biotechnology program at Austin Community College in Austin, Texas. I started the program approximately 13 years ago and I was the program that was built on the best practices gathered through the original BioLink Advanced Technology Education Grant. At this point, I am no longer part of that grant, but now part of the new grant, and all of us are hoping to mentor new programs and share information and curriculum through the BioLink network of schools. I think you'll find at the website there's a lot of material and a lot of contacts and a lot of interest in broadening participation of schools that want to participate. I'm Jeanette Mallory with the Madison Area Technical College in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, our program started in 1987 uh, offering a full professional program in biotechnology, 65 credits. Over the years we've evolved to offer post-baccalaureate certificates in a variety of areas including bioinformatics, biotechnology lab skills, and now we've developed a stem cell certificate uh, for post-baccalaureate students. And now here's my colleague Lisa Seidman. Hi. And so um, our program has been involved in BioLink since the very beginning of BioLink and we've been active in a number of projects with BioLink. I think maybe I would just highlight one of our contributions which has been the development of um, instructional materials to teach students basic lab skills. So that would be those skills that all students need regardless of what kind of biotechnology job they get. Things like making solutions, weighing, measuring, documentation. And I do think that's an important contribution that our program has made to the overall effort. My name is Jim DeClo, and I'm the Southwest Regional Director of BioLink. I also teach a biotechnology program at Solano College in the North San Francisco Bay. Uh, to me, BioLink has provided an opportunity for me to network with biotech faculty from all over the United States. With BioLink, I've been able to keep abreast of all of the new teaching innovations in the field of biotechnology. Uh, our program has introduced a biomanufacturing component and uh, through BioLink I've been able to keep up with other faculty who have a similar emphasis in their biotechnology program. I'm Bill Woodruff. I'm the Department Head for Biotechnology at Alamance Community College. We have what is, uh, seems to be the oldest two-year program in the United States. I came to BioLink's very first Summer Fellows Forum as a fellow. And th that year they recruited me to become the Southeast Regional Director. So I have been to all 12 of the Summer Fellows Forums. It's become my look forward to meeting of the year. Every single year for 12 years, now I say we have the oldest program, but every year I learn something new and I find something new to take back to my college. BioLink has been one of the greatest things that's happened because for so long I thought I'm the only one doing biotechnology and I found out the rest of the world really is. So. BioLink has been a major, major uh, contributor to our program and a major effect on my ability to uh, do what I do as a biotechnology instructor. Hi, my name is Sandy Porter and I'm one of the co-PIs on the BioLink grant. I'm also the president of Digital World Biology, a company that makes bioinformatics educational materials for teaching biologists how to use the many bioinformatics resources that are out there to explore the genome and the wonders of the public databases. And I'm going to talk a little bit about BioLink and my role in the BioLink project. I work managing and helping to build the BioLink online community, which is a really wonderful thing. And it's a challenge to get the online community to represent the dynamic nature and sharing nature and enthusiasm that you see when you get all of the BioLink instructors here together in a place like Berkeley at the Clark Kerr Center. It's amazing. I've been in groups where people only sit with the people they know or the people they came from. BioLink isn't like that. You find everybody talking to everybody. Everybody wants to share. Everybody wants to learn from each other. Everybody wants to find out about the wonderful things that are going on in St. Louis or Mesa, Arizona, or Brooklyn, New York, or various parts of the country. It's a really, truly incredible place.